Approximately 800 kilometers west of Costa Rica, an international team of scientists aboard the research drilling ship Joides Resolution recovered, for the first time, rocks known as gabbros from intact ocean crust. On IODP Expedition 312, scientists drilled through volcanic rock that forms the Earth's crust to reach a fossil magma chamber lying 1.4 kilometers beneath the sea floor. Geophysicist Douglas Wilson, co-chief scientist of an earlier expedition to the same site and a scientist on board Expedition 312, studied the ocean crust magnetic properties and was instrumental in selecting the expedition's precise drilling location. By sampling a complete section of the upper ocean crust, we achieved a goal pursued for more than 40 years since the days of Project Mohol. This accomplishment will ultimately help science answer the question, how is new ocean crust formed? Formation of ocean crust is a key process in the cycle of plate tectonics. It constantly repaves the Earth's surface, builds mountains, and leads to earthquakes and volcanoes. Having samples from the deep fossil magma chamber allows us to compare its composition to overlying lavas. The cores help explain whether ocean crust is formed from one high-level magma chamber or from a series of stack chambers. The size and geometry of the magma chamber affect the vigor of hydrothermal circulation of seawater through the crust. Systems such as these lead to spectacular black smoker vents, modern analogs of ancient copper deposits, and deep ocean oases that support exotic life. IODP Expedition 312 scientists distinguished themselves by recovering gabbros from intact ocean crust for the very first time. Finding the right place to drill was probably key to our success. We identified a 15 million year old region of the Pacific Ocean that formed when the East Pacific rise was spreading at a super fast rate, more than 200 millimeters per year, faster than any mid-ocean ridge on Earth today. We exploited a partially tested geophysical observation that magma chambers should be closest to the Earth's surface in crust formed at the fastest spreading rate. Doug Wilson and his colleagues proved the theory correct. <laughs>